um, I am Ashley and Justine, and we are here with Eric. And he is going to talk to us about death and his company that he owns, actually. Um, it's very interesting. We have Eric here. Okay, Eric, so what got you interested or what got you, got your brain going towards dead people? Um, it was a combination of several different factors, I'd say. Uh, number one, like, I was kind of goth in high school. Uh, I was in youth ministry before, so I was like a youth pastor. And I, it's, it's a simple little story. And my mom said, hey, why don't you go down to the college and see what you could do over there? You know, I, was, I used to work in nursing. I worked in nursing homes and things like that. So I worked with people that were dying a lot, the hospice mm -hmm. and all that. I went to the school and I looked at the program listing and I saw a funeral service. And just with the background of ministry and things like that, it got me thinking, wow, um, you know, the, it's kind of like church services. So many questions. Have you ever killed somebody just so you can have them as business? Have you made a friend with a dead body? <laughs> uh, I'd say I've made quite a few friends with dead bodies. <laughs> In the most recent example, um, one of the deceased's parents <laughs> told the deceased to go and hook me up uh, in the business. What? <laughs> like the ghost or whatever. Like told his ghost to go out there and drum me up some business. The, the ghost? <laughs> the, the parents told the ghost to go get you business? Yeah. All right. So I own a mortuary. It's a funeral home, mortuary. Uh, the two words, etymology is mort, I believe it's French, dead. Ueri, and I think that's Latin or something, and it means house or that which houses it. So it means dead house. He hangs out with dead people. And we don't want you to be prejudiced against dead people. Tell me, Eric, about this business you own, about the bodies that you have found. Have you found any anything? What's the most disgusting thing that you have found? This person who died from smoke inhalation. And literally, they were just like a torso. So it was all like, smelled like Burger King. Oh, that's no disgusting. No offense to Burger King. <laughs> Somehow, I, I didn't, it, there was no blood, there was no guts. It was just like a torso, and then it was just all like, just burned and charred. But for some reason, you know, I had to like, sit Oh, a burned the, victim. Like they, yeah. oh. But there was no head, there was no shoulders. And I kind of thought it was a little funny because like, like, the cause of death is smoke inhalation. What about touching the dead bodies? Do you like touching them? Mm, I'm indifferent about it. Like, when I used to do embalming, I embalmed over 100 bodies. And you have to kind of massage them and, and to get the fluids to go through their body. It's not, it's not, it was never really my thing. Do I ever dance around? Yes. I used to put on techno and I'd be, like, grooving, um, you know, listen to some Do you get happy stuff. thinking about your life, that you're alive mm -hmm. and these people are dead? No, I don't feel it that way too much. Do you ever feel sad? Are you a depressed person? Yeah, I would say sometimes I feel sad. Do you but, get sad because you work with the bodies? Mm, yeah, not, maybe not the bodies, but the concept of life and death and of a dead person and of what they represented as a living person. Do you think about dying a lot? Yeah, yeah I would say I think about it probably more than most people. How many times a day do you think about it? Smells. Glue smells. Skull clamps. Skull clamps. And embalming fluid, yeah. Embalming fluid. Bodies. Dead bodies. Have you ever embalmed like a Lego character? Of course. What about a cat? Of course. I got taxi. Is there anything cat. you haven't done, Eric? No. <laughs> I'm done. Just get, get the camera out of my face. Never uh -uh. afraid.